To determine where the function is increasing, we sub in a point into the first derivative. And if that's greater than zero, the function's increasing. If we sub in that point and it is negative, then the function is decreasing. So this first derivative of some point of x less than zero, if it's negative, in other words, then we would say it's decreasing at that point of x. So what do we plug in to determine if it's increasing or decreasing for x? What do we use for x? Well, we use the stationary point. We've determined that the stationary point is located at x equals zero. So to do a simple domain, we have our stationary point somewhere where x is zero. And basically, we want to find out if it's increasing or decreasing on these intervals to the left and to the right of our stationary point where x equals zero. So to do that, we just pick a point on either side of our stationary point, plugging that in for x, and then we'll see if it's increasing or decreasing. So pick any point. Choosing the easiest points on either side of zero will be negative one and positive one. And so we'll plug that into the first derivative for x to see what we get, if it's positive or negative. So plugging in for negative one and positive one. We'll put x is negative one in the first derivative and x is positive one in this first derivative. You all know how to sub in points, positive one and negative one, so I don't need to show you that. We'll get positive 32 and positive eight. The numbers don't matter. What matters is that the points are both positive so if the points are both positive or greater than zero, that would mean that it's increasing on both intervals or on both sides of the stationary point. So what would that look like if it's increasing on both sides? That would be a saddle point. A saddle point is not a local maximum or minimum. And so what's increasing on both sides? The tangents. The slope of all the tangents on the left side and the right side are all positive. 